two teams that love to pound the paint, how important is that battle going to be? Extremely important. Uh, you know, I think um, you know Tennessee shoots. Uh, only difference between their offense and our, or well, one of the main differences between their offense and our offense is they shoot a little bit higher percentage from three, and they don't turn the ball over as much as we do. But they they get the ball uh, in the paint. That's where the third most efficient offense in the country, the most efficient offense in our league. So. You know, being able to get in the paint when the paint war is going to be going to be a big part of the game. Coach, I know you're an analytics guy. Is there any stat or statistic that you've seen from your team coming off a loss uh, that you really like besides just uh, a win? Is there anything in particular that you know your team's going to respond well with? Uh, we'll see. We've been pretty good at adjusting. We've had to make some adjustments, so hopefully we'll make the you know we've made the right adjustments and we'll be able to get it into the game and execute tomorrow morning. Um, Matt, after watching the tapes, I mean, what really stood out to you yesterday? About? About Wednesday night's game. Oh, we were just step slow and, um, <clears throat> you know, giving up 10 offensive rebounds in the second half is unacceptable, especially when you're playing as big as we are. We don't have an advantage. If we're, you know, if you're playing big and the other team's playing small, you got to pound them on the glass like we did Auburn. That's how you can win a game like that. Instead, we're pretty, I mean, I know we won the rebounding by two, but that you got to win that by 10 or 12 if you're going to, you know, because we've got our bigs out there chasing around their guards, trying to guard them. I mean, one of their guards scored seven straight points on one of our bigs. So we just didn't have very good attention to detail. We got pounded on the glass. They scored seven points based on out of bounds. We were just very, very poor. Well, it's a very easy thing to say, but as, as Vermont goes, your team goes. So, yeah. how, how true is that for you? From your perspective? Uh, I don't know. We've got other good players. We've got other very, very good players, and I probably need to try some of those other very, very good players out some more. But we've got other good players. I mean, I think he's certainly a critical piece to what we're doing. But he's, you know, we've got, you know, Nas was our best player the other night. Skyler played really well. Um, you know, I'm kicking myself. I should have given Skyler some more opportunities probably later in the game. So uh, we've got other good guys, and, and they need to, you know, we'll. we'll uh, Give opportunities as uh, as needed. Grant Williams and Admiral Schofield, they were the only ones on that team. They'd be in matchup nightmare. How tough is it to prepare for? Well, Bone's really that. good yeah. too. I mean, yeah. the point guard makes him go, and then Alexander's a game changer down low. I mean, they've got a very very good team. Very very good team. They get everything you want. They can pound the paint. They've got efficient three point shooters. We're bowing them now. Uh, Turner, Monty Turner, and then Bone. You know, Bone's a kid. I we were we were one of his finalists at VCU. I did a home visit with him. I was the head coach at VCU. I wanted him bad, and uh, he's a just an ultimate competitor. Uh, he's really, really improved and gotten better. And you know, obviously, Williams would be the uh, you know, probably odds-on favorite for player of the year in the league. He's preseason player of the year, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then Schofield's just a, just an animal. So they got good pieces. They got good pieces and elite coaching. So that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good combination. It's pretty much the same team we saw last year. Maybe. Kind of yeah, except they're a year older and <laughs> and they shoot it better and they're you know they're better defensively so we hung, hung around we got beat yeah. by twenty yeah but you were still in the game with nine minutes to go. right sure yeah <laughs> <laughs> is that the I mean that's not the objective to be in the game with nine minutes yeah. left okay. the objective is you either win or you lose we got beat by twenty so, no if, I mean. To answer the question, is there anything we can take from that? No. You talked about focus Wednesday nights, especially with the three throws. Have you seen a, maybe a sharper focus? We've been much sharper with our focus, so hopefully that will carry over to the, to the court. For the team that likes to get in the paint as much as Tennessee is, uh, just how important is Cavell, you know, in that first half not picking up you know, early fouls? And, and yeah, we, we're not going to be able to get in foul trouble tomorrow, so we need to – Keep our best horses on the on the floor for sure, uh, but they're uh, you know they're an extremely extremely physical team, and so we've got to be able to match or exceed their their, their physicality. You, you got to walk a fine line when you play them because you can't you can't back down, uh, but then you can't pick up some unnecessary uh, fouls either trying to match what they do. Well, you talk all, all, all the time about the importance of the last six minutes, which is very important. But what about the first six minutes? You guys seem like you're often digging yourselves out of a hole. It'd be, nice if, important? be nice if we get off to better starts. Um, uh, yeah, we've got to execute better from the start. And, and 
especially against a team like Florida on Wednesday. They're a totally different team when they're playing from ahead or when they're playing from behind. And we just we were playing they were playing from ahead the whole game. And it's just we never could get in rhythm and so um, certainly that'd be nice to jump out and get a lead and then be able to play it out from there. I wish I could get that across to our team. You know, they're all excited about this game, obviously, but, you know, that. No, they're all important. The Florida game was important. The Arkansas game was important. And, and you know, the, everybody's all excited about this, but uh, every single one of them is important. You know, I mean, that, that, that's, that's the way. That's the way I look at it. That's why Tennessee's so mature. That's what they're, they're so good because they, they, every game for them, they don't lose any they're not supposed to lose. You understand that? Like they don't lose any. They, they just blow people's doors off. The teams they're supposed to be, they handle their business. There's no overtimes. There's no nothing too crazy most of the time. I mean, they, nine times out of ten, they go handle their business. And then they're going to show up in the big games and, and see what happens. And that's, that's, that's when you've got an elite, elite program and a top 5, 10 team, which is what they have. We don't have that. We've got a team that's trying to get there, a team that gets excited to play big games, and then a team that doesn't have any consistency when we play teams that we, um, that, that, that we, that we should be able to, to beat. Coach, you talked about uh, adjustments earlier. Uh, I'm obviously on the court. I'm talking in, in terms of coaching adjustment. Do you ever look at maybe coming off a loss? Switching things up in terms of dispersing minutes, do you look at a guy like him to possibly come in a high energy atmosphere type game to give you more against that physical Tennessee team like you're talking about? Well, I wish on Wednesday I'd have played days more. I didn't play days enough Wednesday. I told him that after the game. I did a poor job with him. So yeah, I mean you make some adjustments, you know. Tennessee's but it also is matchups. Tennessee's a little bit bigger, so maybe we can play days a little bit more at some different spots, you know, we can do some different things. So uh, I mean, you look at you look at everything after a win and a loss. You said the other night Florida was the kind of team would end your season. Do you feel? Well, I said that to you all. Why is that bad? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said a team like them would win Missouri. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that was true. I mean, okay. four of the five teams we've lost to: uh, 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 Houston, Florida State, Florida and Oklahoma State. They all have got the same kind of blueprint defensively, and ultimately that's what will do us in, whenever that is. It could be the first round, could be the, I don't know, but whenever it is, we'll run into a team like that. Okay, and it's going to be over. My question. I'm uh, sorry. I didn't know I said better, that out loud. Do you feel better <laughs> Damn. against a team like Tennessee yeah. just because they get your attention? Uh, no, I don't, feel, I don't feel good playing a team like Tennessee because they're – Really, really good, and they bring some of those same components to the. Uh, they bring some of those same components to the to, to the table. Um, so no, I mean, I, I mean, every team should get our attention, but, but I don't I don't feel particularly great about uh, about it just because they're. But I mean, they're they're really really good. They're really really good. They're physical. They're well coached. They do things that are different. You know, everybody's so ball screen oriented. They don't set a ton of ball screens. They run more motion. They're a uh, really, really good version of – when I was in the Atlantic 10, Davidson played very similar to how Tennessee plays. And they're just a, you know elite version of what Davidson does, in my opinion. You also said you felt sorry for the fans there Wednesday night. How much would a win tomorrow go toward making up with them? You'd have to ask them. I, I feel bad when we lose any of the home games. I hate losing at home. I hate losing, period. But I really hate losing at home. We got – People that work hard and buy their ticket and come 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 cheer us on and I don't, I don't like losing at all. You want us to tell you what else you said that is? <laughs> what else did I say? Sickening. Huh? It was sickening. It was. Okay. I didn't sleep you, that all night. I was so mad. And this is the first 11 a.m. tip of the season. Is there anything? Or yeah, 11 a.m. Yeah. We got one at Alabama next yeah. year too, right? Is there any? Yeah, those are the only two of the year until you know whenever. Is there anything that you changed? Oh yeah, we changed our whole routine. Yes, we've been preparing for this. Coach, can you prep for the outside chance that Tennessee might throw some kind of zone at you guys? Yeah, I mean they played a one-two-two back to some two-three zone at, at times this year, but uh, I don't think 
they may go to it some, but I think they would only go to it if we were doing very well. I mean, they're a hard-nosed man-to-man team 95% of the time. They, they go to that zone um, when they have to. They're not, you know, that, I don't think. I think if they go zone, I think that means we've forced them into zone and we've done some good things. Can, uh, can you, uh, you obviously can't do anything about the experience gap. Can youthful exuberance play to your advantage in, in, in a certain way? You said maybe they well, we're going to have to hope. We're going to have to hope. After the game, Nas Reed, he was kind of the first one at the mic for most of the questions. He seemed to kind of take it. Did you? Did it seem to you that he took that loss a little bit harder? Than he always won? takes him hard. I mean, he's a competitor now. Did you see how hard he played? I mean, he was all over the place. I mean, he's a competitor. He wants to win. Um, and uh, he takes all of them. He's a takes all of them tough. So um, I didn't see anything different from him than I see after you know any game. I mean, he's hard on himself after we win. I'll say good game. I was like, oh, I did this, this, and that. Like, yeah, you're right about that. But I mean, he's just very, very, very hard on himself. That's just the way he is. That's what makes him an elite, really, really good player. He seems to have come on strong in second halves. What's, is he a little bit tentative in the first half trying to avoid I think sometimes he just or? fills his way out and, and um, tries to avoid, you know, Games he hadn't played well, he's kind of picked up some early fouls, and I think he tries to get in the swing of the game. Anything else? All right. All right.